Okay, I'm back. Thank you. Um, my camera ran out of time, and so I had to go and fix it so we can continue on. So anyway, um, what I did was I, I got some more little flowers out, and these are some I Am Roses flowers that I'm going to stick on here and whatnot. So let me just put this little guy right here. Put him right down in there. Mm, this is really turning out really, really pretty. And then so the next thing I want to do, let me go ahead and let's see, do I want to put that there and continue on down? Let's see, let me figure out how I want to do this. Okay, um, let's see what else I have in here. I maybe want to put some more, um, I don't know if I want that there. Let me see. Let's see. What do y'all think? <laughs> Maybe that's a little bit too big. How about this one? I think this one is better. Let me kind of bunch it up a little bit. Make sure I'm still in camera, which I am. Scoot this just a tad over. Okay. And let me... Let me put this down. Right here. That's where I want it. Right there. Okay. And then I'll start working my my way down this side. I always man it. I always seem to just do you know like I don't know this side. My left side seems to always be my bottom, and then my right side always seems to be the top. How I do things. I don't know why I do that, but that's just <laughs> how I do it. I um, mean, there's any way and every way that people can do things. So I've got that there, and I'm going to add some more things to it. I pulled out some of these cute little mini acrylic flowers, and these are in the apple green. And I might stick them in a couple of different places. When I um, do alter my frames and whatnot, I am all over the place. I don't just stick to one area. I just seem to get an idea and it I just kind of go off with it so let me kind of cut this off right here and then I'm going to tuck this under just like that and then I think I'll stick this right there I'm going to tuck that under right there so I always like to fill in the areas as well. See that, isn't that cute? Right there. And this is coming out really cute. And then I have this little butterfly. I haven't quite decided where am I going to put it there. So he's just kind of hanging out for a little while. If I want to do that one or if I want to do this darker green. I haven't quite decided yet. So I'll have to just decide. Maybe I'll put them both on here. This is really turning out to be a real pretty springy type um, frame. And I was um, real happy with the way that everything is coming out. When I think I get done too, I just thought that maybe I'd do a little bit of gesso on different flowers and, and whatnot just to kind of tone it down a little bit. So let's see where else do we want to go. Um, oh, I want to add some stuff up here. Let's see, I've got some different kinds of flowers over here too. Kind of bring things, add some other colors. If I want to put such a big flower there, I don't think I want such a big one. Here, I think this is better. Okay, so let me kind of glue these together like that and then I want to maybe stick a um, maybe I'll get a green um, little um, flat back pearl and stick on there I had where's my little ones I had some little ones right here um, I don't know lost them so I'll get a little um, gemstone Let's see 
I'll put this on there. That will look good. And let me just put you right here. Cute! And let me get the glue off. And I'm going to kind of bunch it up right in this area here. Just like that. And then I'll stick a yellow rose in there. And then I'm going to curl my leaves up, or my stem. And I'll stick that right there. Right there. Oops. Just like that. Hmm. Isn't that pretty? It's turning out so cute. But I think I want some more white gardenias. Did I get those out yet? Mm, let me grab my gardenias. I love these gardenias, and Misty carries um, gardenias in her store as well. So, I'm going to prop it up here. Yep, just right there, I believe. Hmm. No, I don't particularly want it right there. Maybe I need to come up here. Right there. Give me a little bit of wiggle room in here. There. There, just like that. That's turning out really cute. Okay. And then let's see what else can we do. Let's see what else. I think I'm going to get out my stickles um, or my glossy accents and then um, put this yellow um, trim along the inside here before I go any further. Get it all wrapped around in here. Okay, so let me put a little, just run a, a bead right along the edge here. Let me make sure that it's going to come through. Sorry, this was a um, last minute thought about the beads going down the center. Let me make sure I can get this open. I need a pin. I think I have another one that has a pin in it. Yes, right here. What I do too is with my um, glossy accents, I'll put a, a, a pin in the cent down the top here. You can see so that um, it doesn't clog. And let me just go ahead and run a bead right along the edge. And then come down, whoops, too much. Come along the edge here. And lay this in there. And this always dries clear. That's why I love this stuff too. Okay. 
edge off my fingers and then let me continue on oh I haven't glued this one down yet This on here. And then let me snip it. Snip it right there. That was all just a tad short. Okay. But that's not a problem because I can just snip two little beads off and put them on. I got enough glossy accents on this side. Whoops! Starting to dry and my fingers are sticking to it. So let me Let me add these two little beads right there. Okay, and then let me go ahead and dry it. And then what I did here too, which I didn't glue in, is I had these leaves right here and um, they were bigger than I wanted so I just kind of folded them, or you can cut them, but I folded them to give me more um, um, strength to hold them in place. So let me just kind of tuck that back down in there so you can see where that leaf is and I didn't get this one glued in. So I was still trying to figure out where I wanted to put everything. So it goes right there. And then I'm going to take another leaf and I'm going to do the same thing. Um, see where I want to put it. You just kind of, I just take my pliers and I just kind of fold it over. Oh, that took it off kind of fold it and you can use your fingers too and then I just kind of fold them inward like that and then let me just stick this right under here kind of tuck it in there let me see let me get it in there right there is where I want it. See how this is coming out? It's coming out so pretty. Make sure I'm, you can, guys can see it right there. And let's see what else do I need to do if I need to do anything else. Um, I'm going to add a couple more of these um, acrylic uh, flowers right here. I love these things. Of course, you know, I tell you I love everything. I love everything at Envy Treasurista. Um, not just because I designed for her, but just because um, I think she, her products are awesome. So, and I think that she's got awesome prices. And here again, I can always say that her customer service is really superb. Okay, and let me stick this little guy right under here. 
resting right under there. Okay, so let me see. This is turning out really cute. Let's see if I'm wondering. Cute. Okay. So I do think that I am going to stick this little butterfly right there. And I'm just going to bend over the um, the backing a little bit so it will go down flat. And I just bend it over. And put some glue on it. And I'm going to stick this little butterfly right there in the midst of these flowers. Right there. And maybe I'll stick this one up here. Let's see, where do I want to put this one? Let's see what that looks like. Pretty. Okay. Mm, I still want to stick another flower on here. I'm going to stick this yellow. I'm going to put this yellow rose up here. Okay. And let me do my leaf or my stem here. And all I do is just wrap it around. Just wrap it around. And then I pull it. And then just bring it towards the front. And that gives you that, a little stem there. We turn this this way so I can see it. Get in here like that. Okay. Like that. Let me open this up a little bit so we can see. Okay. Well, I think um, I think this is going to be done. Except for I am going to do a little bit of um, put a little bit of gesso on my flowers and maybe along my um, frame as well just to kind of tone it down because like I say I'm not a real bright color person but um, I think this turned out really good let me put my pen back in my see it's already getting kind of hard there it goes and I just put this right in there So anyway, let's see. I'm going to get some gesso, and I'm just going to lightly go over my um, flowers and stuff. I can open this up. And I'm just going to use my lid. And I'm just going to um, put some on my brush, and then just like I do my dry brushing, I'm just going to go over the tops. very lightly I just I still want to keep some of the color on here
I hope y'all can see. Am I still in camera? I am. Okay. It's very lightly. I might even spray this. Let's go over there. You know, it's just kind of like, like earlier when I um, went over it with the yellow on my green paint. Um, there's no ream or rhyme on why I do something. It's just, just putting color on here. Just adding texture. Let's see, get some over here. This is really turning out cute, y'all. Just kind of um, going against the grain here and adding this jet sew on it and then just kind of going along the um, frame itself as well and getting down inside here. I really like how this is turning out. Okay. This stuff, I think, I can turn off my glue gun.